Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over a way that might fix that frustrating leak that sometimes you run into when you take the hose and you put it on a caliper on your car and it still leaks. Well, first of all, I better put a disclaimer in here. When you're fooling with brakes, obviously, if you mess up, it can cause serious problems. Your brakes may leak down and you know, it causes you to wreck or something. We don't want that. So if you have any doubt, send it to a professional. Now, with that said, sometimes you'll have a brand new hose and brand new caliper, brand new fittings, of course, because the calipers come with them and the hose comes with them, little brass fittings, and you put it together, everything's clean, tighten it down perfect, match the brakes, you see a drip, drip, drip. Okay, now, when your head bursts into flames from anger and you put it back out and you regain yourself, you think, what do I do? Okay, it's pretty straightforward. These things, this is an old washer. You'll notice there's little bitty grooves in it if you really look. They go around it. The grooves you see on these washers are not there when it's brand new. That comes when you press it up against the inside of the bolt and the hose and so on and so forth. This is an old bolt that goes in it. It has grooves in the top right here, the lip. And that's how they seal. The brass mashes into that and it creates a seal. So you got a seal right there and then this right here, the actual hose in, has grooves on both sides of it. it is, that's the same thing. Now this right here, in this case, does not have it. It just has to rely on pressure. But what happened with this one is, even with the grooves and all, it would not seal because you can't tighten these up too much if you don't strip them you can still mess up the brass fitting in this one's case it's 16 to 23 pounds rated but even if you did try to go more like i say you'd strip it out and you don't want to do that well this has squared off edges not completely square but it's got flat edges and one on hits right up under here right here well, it still allows a little bit of movement. So I took a wrench that would fit over this, making sure not to hit this. And I moved it about an eighth of an inch and moved it back. When I did, it made them grooves bite. It, it made the, the grooves seal up then. So that's just a little trick if you can't get it to stop. Now, if you have any concerns whatsoever, have, have a professional do it. And you know, I put these on here, but then I check them and I'll drive it and I'll come back and see. I'll dry it off completely. And then I'll come back and see if there's any more on it, at least once. 